Now, the truck driver managed to jump out with seconds to spare. Luckily, three men pulled him to out of the fire as those flames spread. Someone in the nearby office recorded this video of that incredible rescue today. Jeff Todd spoke with one of those rescuers tonight, and Jeff, he told you that he is still shaking up by what he saw. Dave Fretz was headed northbound on I-25. The first thing he noticed was the CDOT car next to him had turned on its flashers. When he looked up, he saw that truck careening into the center divider. When he came to a stop, there was definitely, I could see fuel or something going across the road northbound. Dave Fretz was headed home from work. It was smoking and there was some flames kind of happening in the back part of it. I even grabbed my fire extinguisher and I didn't even use it. Fretz raced to the driver's side door, but the driver had escaped on the passenger side. He did fall a couple times when he was coming back to my truck. And I kept asking him, are you the only guy in the truck? Are you the only guy in the truck? He's, yes, senor, I am. Then the explosions began. Woo! Never in my life have I ever taken pictures like this. Heard this kaboom. And I turned around and the truck you, you couldn't even see the truck no more. It was engulfed in flame, black, black, black smoke, just bellowing out the, the highways on both northbound and southbound were on fire. He likely helped save a life today. Oh, I just think I'm doing my duty. If it wasn't for them Sea Dog guys, I don't know if I could have done anything by myself. But they were they were very much heroes. Now all Fretz can think about is the injured driver. I'm still shaken up about it. Yeah. It's, I just couldn't believe it. Fretz was in the right place at the right time. He actually worked for CDOT for 30 years, and before that, he was a firefighter for about a decade. He told us today he wants to meet that driver that was safe from the truck. Reporting live, Jeff Todd, CBS 4 News. Hope it happens. Thanks very much, Jeff.